سانی بن خورین بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام شاسانی سه آب بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام پاکیخ ایبرایم بر رو خطر دارن میخوام مال بیش آرومیم پیج 104 بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام ما تیر اسوریم بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام زوکیف کفوفی این بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام رکاه هرت آمیم بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام همه خیمه صدای گابر بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام ما شاسانی کود سرکی بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام از یه سال بیگ بورا آه بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام ما تیر اسوریم بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام همه خیمه صدای گابر بر رو خطر دارن این میخوام we may be seated. Page 106 toward the top with Ashrenu. Ashrenu matov chalkinu malayim goralinu maya fayu shasenu. Ashrenu shanach nu mashki mimu ma'arivim erav avokir varmin pamayim bechoyum. Shmaha Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Welcome, folks. Come on in. Thank you for joining. Kadesh etim halmakti shishim echa vakadesh etim cha balam echa vushor atachat adonai metagvi akarneno baruch at adonai mekadesh etim cha parabim. Page one hundred twelve, the Psalm for Shabbos. Hayom yom Shabbos kodesh. Od yenu vum b'seva d'shenim ran enim yu lagid ki ashar donai tzurei v'lo avla sabu. Page one hundred twenty means more shir chanukat abayit l'david. Avachta mismarim acholi pitach ta sakivat zreni simcha ala ma'anza mercha chavad v'leo yirama dana ilohai liolamo teka. Mourner's Kaddish is on page 121, page 121, Mourner's Kaddish. Yit gadal v'yit gadash shamei rabah v'yalmat ivrach irutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayechon v'mechon v'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael Ba'galau v'izman kari v'imru amen. Yehesh mei raba mevarach li'olam ame omaya. Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit naseh. V'yit hadar v'yit halev v'yit halal shemei d'kudisha v'richu. La'ela min kol b'yarchata v'shirata. Tush b'chata v'nechmata. Damiran b'alma v'imru amen. Yehesh lama raba min shemaya v'chaim. Aleinu v'alko Yisrael v'imru, Amen. Ose shalom v'imru, ma. Huya se shalom. Aleinu v'alko Yisrael v'imru, Amen. We rise as we turn to page 122 and we can gather up our tzitziot. This whole beginning part, we're warming ourselves up, getting ready for the main part of the prayer, coming up with Baruchu. Right now, Pesukei de Zimra 122. Baruch Shehamar Vehaya Holam Baruchu Baruch Ose Vereshis Baruch Omer Vyose Baruch Gozir Mekayem Baruch Marachem Alaretz Baruch Marachem Alavrihot Baruch Meshlam Sachar Tov Lerehav Baruch Ha'ela Ad Vekayam Lanetzach Baruch Poryo Matzil Baruch Shemo Baruch Atem Mekayem Yachid chai haola mi melech meshuach mfrayari ha chumah gero Baruch atat anai melech mehulal batish bachot We may be seated. We continue in English on the left side on page 123. 123 left side in English. Give thanks to Adonai. Call out in God's name. Let all peoples know of God's deeds. Sing to God. Hymn to God. Describe all of God's wondrous acts. Exalt in God's holy name. May all who yearn for Adonai find rejoicing in their hearts.
page 124. <laughs> Page 125. Page 126. La al amecha Hoshia Hoshia as amecha Ashramshakahalashamshanailah <laughs> Middle of the page in Hebrew, uh, the last third on the left side, in the on 127 on the left, in the red transliteration as well. Torah Sedonai Tmima, Torah Sedonai Tmima, Torah Sadonai Tmima, Meshivasna Afesh, Edu Sedonai Nimana, Edu Sedonai Nimana. Edo Sadanai Nehemana Machi Maspesi Picure Adanai Sharim Mesameche Mesameche Hele Mitzva Sadanai Bahara Mehiras Mehiras Senaim Yerasadonai Yera Sadonai Tehora, Yera Sadonai Tehora, Ho Ho Medestahan, Mishpdea don't a higher mess, Mishpdea don't a higher mess, Mishpdea don't a higher mess, Tade Kuya Hachta, but I have a ring as I was. We rise as we turn to page 132, 132. Kilia <laughs> Vinir paro vchelo vyamsu kile lam gire lam khasto lmole khambo bamid bar kile lam gire lam khasto lmakmlakhim gedolim kile lam gire lam khasto 
רק מלאכים אדירים, כי לעולם גרלם חסתו. זיכרון מלך האמור, כי לעולם גרלם חסתו. ולעוג מלך המשן, כי לעולם גרלם חסתו. נסן ארצם נלחלה, כי לעולם גרלם חסתו. נחלה ליסה אל עבדו, כי לעולם גרלם חסתו. שב שפלנו זכר לנו, כי לעולם גרלם חסתו. ויפקנו מצרנו, כי לעולם גרלם חסתו. נוסע לחם לכו בשר, כי לעולם גרלם חסתו. הודו ליל השמיים, כי לעולם גרלם חסתו. We may be seated. We continue with Ashrei, page 137. תהילת ענן הידע בר פי ורך כל בשר שם קודשו לעולם ועד ואנחנו נאמר אחיה מעתה ועד עולם הללויה 137 הללויה הלי נפשי הסלאי ענן שומע כרים יתום ומרה יודד ודורך שם יבט אם לא חל עלי לעולם אלוהי איך ציון לדור ודור הללויה 138 הללויה כי טוב זמרה אלוהינו כי נעים לבתי לבוני יש לנו נעים מגיד רב לעקוב חוק המשפטיו לנסוע על עשר חן לכל גויים משפטים בל ידעום הללויה ה-139 הללויה הללויה סלאם ימין שלום וירם קרן למוטי לא לכל חסתי לב לבני צום קרבו הללויה ה-140 הללויה שירו לרעי שיר חדש לאסור מלכיהם וזיקים מיני חייכם, אהב ליור זה, אל לעשות בהם משפט כתוב, הלאה הוא לכל חסידיו, הללויה. פייג' 141, we conclude the book of Psalms by reciting Psalm 150. הללויה. הללויה בקודשו, הללויה ברכייהו זו, הללויה בגברוסיו, הללויה. הללויה כרוב גודלו. הללויה בתק השופר, הללויה בנבל וכינו הללויה. הללויה, 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 הללויה. הללויה בתוף מרחו, הללויה במינים ויוגב. הללויה וצלצלי שם הללויה. הללויה וצלצלי תשובה, כל הנשמות הללויה, כל הנשמות הללויה, הללויה. הללויה, 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 הללויה. ברוך אני גם. וברוך שם כבודו לעולם וימלך ברוא את כל הארץ, אמן ואמן. We rise, page 142. ויברך דוד את ענני לעיני חוקו, ויאמר דוד ברוך את עתה הוא ראי נמי מאשר בחרת אברהם ותתו מאור כסתי ושמת שמע אברהם ומצאת אל אבבו נאמן לפניך וחברו שימו הבריס לצאת את זה
ויאמר בקטר לפניהם, ויעברו בתוך היום במושב, ואתרוק פעם ישלח תווים צלות כמו אבן במים עשיים. 143. ויושע אדוני ביום ההוא אס ישראל מיד מצרים, ויאר ישראל אס מצרים, אס על שפס הים, ויאר ישראל אס היה לגדולה אשר אס אדוני במצרים, וראו העם אס אדוני, ויאמינו בדוני ובמשה עבדו. אז ישיר משה ובני ישראל את השירה הזאת לאדוני ויאמרו לאמור השירה לאדוני כי גהוגה סוס ברוך ואור המים הוזי וזמרה שיאה ויהי לי לישוע זה לוויין והוא אלוהי אביב ואומן בן הוא מי כמוכם אלים אלוני, מי כמוכם נדר בקולש, נעתי לו את הספל. עד יעבור עמך אדוני, עד יעבור עם זו קנית אבדי. אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד. 144 on the left side in English, in the middle. We read together. Then Miriam the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a timbrel in her hand and went out, followed by all the women with timbrels and dance. And Miriam led them in response, sing to Adonai, who has triumphed gloriously, who cast horse and rider into the sea. We may be seated, page 145. ברוח כמו בשר תפהר וסומם, זכרך מלכינו תמיד, מן העולם ועד העולם, אתה אל אתה אל. Page 146. Last three nines. <laughs> ברכינה אשי אס אדוני בכוח רבה אס שם קודשו 147 ההר בתעצומות עוזך הגדול בכבוד שמך הגיבור לנצח והנורא בנורסך המלך היושב על כיסא רם והניסה Thank you, Hannah, for leading us in Shacharis. And we're just entering the morning service for those that are joining. We've, we're kind of finishing up with our warm-up section. Hopefully our hearts are warmed up, as is our voices, as we enter in with Shochanad, second paragraph on 147. Thanks, Hannah. Shochanad, Marom, Vekadosh, Shemo. Shochanad, Marom, Vekadosh, Shemo. Vekadosh, Shemo. Vekadosh, Shemo. בפי ישרים תתהלל, ובדי ברי צדיקים תתברך, ובלשון חסידים תתרמם, ובקרב קדושים תתקדש, ובמקלות רבבות עמך בית ישראל ברים. להודות להלל לשבח, לפוער לרומם להדר לברך לעלה ופולס, על כל דברי שירות ותשבחו, דוד בן ישי, אבטחה משיחך. We rise, 148. ישתבח שמך לעד מלכינו. ברכו והודו מעתה ועד עולם, ברכות העננאי. 
In just a moment, we'll continue on page 149 with Barhu. Before we do, we remember this mitzvah in Judaism to love our fellow as ourself. Amar Rabbi Akiva, Amar Rabbi Akiva, V'yahavta l'reacha, l'reacha ka'amocha, Zekla gadol gadol b'torah, Zekla gadol b'torah, Zekla gadol gadol b'torah, Zekla gadol b'torah. Baruch Hu, the call to worship, page 149 in the middle. We may be seated, page 150. We read in English on the top left on 150, Baruch Ata Adonai, our God, sovereign of time and space, forming light and creating darkness, bringing harmony while creating all. Hakol Yaducha. Hakol Yaducha Vayakol Yeshabchucha. One fifty one. <laughs> Page 152. Tiprach 
Kulam Ovim Kulam Burim Kulam Gimori Bakum Asim the Aim of the Robert of Konam the Kulam Putim at Behem Bitusha of Tahara Bashir of Zimpal Makrim Shakrim Farin Umari Tim Makshim Mamahim Eshem Hael Melahaga Double Hagior Hara Kadoshu the Kulam Kabum Alehem Amakut Shemim Zemize Benonim Rishin Zelaze Bahakish Riosa Binahagra Pesafa Baroverim Kadosha Kulam Hanonim Vayonim Vera Kadosh, 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 Hofanim Vahayo Takodesh, Bara Ashkodo Minasim Amat Safim, Lumata Mesachim Vomrim, Baru Kibaruna, Nim Komo, Lael Baru Nemo, Titanu. Or Kalashal Sion, Tair Venus Kirku and Mira the Oro, Baru Hata and Nai, Yotse Hamero. Page one fifty four. Ahava Rabba Ahav Tanu Adonai Elohe Nu Chem Lagdola Vitera Hamata Aleinu Avinu Makainu Bavu Avotain Nu Shabbat Rubecha Shabbat Rubecha Avinu Makainu Vati Lamde Pluke Chaim Page 155, the Shema. Shema
Vayomer Na'ay Amal Shele Mor Mdaber Elbene Yisrael Vayomar Ta'alehem Vayasu Lahem Titi Al Kanfei Bidahem Lador Otam Venatnu Al Titi Hakanaf Betil Techelet Vahaya Lachem Lititi Uritem Oto Uzachartem Et Komitvot Anunai Vayasitem Otam Velo Taturu Acharei Lavavchem Vayacharei Nechem Asher Atem Tonim Acharei Hem Amen. <laughs> Page 157. <laughs> Page 158. Ram Venisa got dull than a raw, Mashpil Gayim, Umagbia Shefalim, Motsi Asirim, Ufode Aravim, Bozer Dalim, Bo no Lamo Yisrael, Ba et Shumalav. In a moment, we'll continue. Once we reach the end of the page, we'll continue all together into the standing Amidah, continuing all together through the Kedusha out loud and then continuing quietly. Right now, we're in the middle of 158, and we're welcome to rise. Mi kamocha ba'al gevurot 
Kadosh, 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 our nights of our old Melokoha Aret Kevodo, Osbekova Ashkadog, I dear Vechazak, Limishmim Ko, Menasim Omatrafim, Limatan Mesaprim Vomrim, Baruch Kevodo Night, Mim Kamo. Mimkomechamakinutofia, <laughs> If you're still dominating, please go ahead and continue. Otherwise, we're welcome to be seated as we turn to page 167 for Kaddish Amen. 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 <laughs> Oh, say shalom bim ramav, hu ya se shalom aleinu, 
Beautiful. We continue now into the Torah serve itself. Torah service begins on page 168. And Gabriel, thank you for leading us in the Torah service today. Shenatan Torah Torah Liamo Yisra Hehel Behik to Shato Yahaira Haira 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 Kadisha, 
Good morning, everyone. We're welcome to be seated as we enter into the Torah reading today on page 503. The reading of the Torah is found in the Big Burgundy Book, the Big Burgundy Book, the Etz Chaim, on page 503. And uh, I happen to notice, Gabriel, that you're in a beautiful suit and uh, featuring a, a, a kind of a, a light colored purple lavender tie. He looks great. Even more important than how he looks, though, and this is hard to see, is, is Gabriel's heart um, because he always comes with, with tremendous heart. To, to, to what he does. He brings his heart. Sorry to put you on the spot. It's kind of like one of the themes of the day, though. <laughs> um, you know, but he brings his heart, and, and we'll talk more about that. But, you know, we're about to enter into a Torah reading that talks about clothing. Clothing is important. It is, because we all see how well Gabriel is dressed, and we're like, wow, if I could look like that. 
right? Um, and that's important because Gabriel is, is becoming uh, officially a bar mitzvah. We're celebrating his becoming a bar mitzvah today. And, and part of becoming a bar mitzvah within Judaism is that sense that he, it's, it's not just like, mazel tov, you're an adult, but it's, it's the fact that every adult in our community has the ability to come up and lead the congregation. The, the word priest brings other connotations from other traditions, but the truth is a, a religious leader, if we could think of it that way, that you are becoming in some sense today a religious leader. And it, it doesn't mean you have to do it as a profession, though you might choose to do so. But it means that every one of us as, as Jewish adults can become a religious leader, can, can lead the service, can come up and share not only reading from the, the Torah itself, but to share words of Torah. When we do that, it's important how we dress. Does God care how we dress? Yes and no. What we're going to read about is the high priest, the Kohen Gadol, and, and the clothing that the high priest would wear. And it was... It was really nice clothing, and it, and it was, they had ornaments with these different jewels right, right on, the, on, on the chest of the high priest were these beautiful jewels representing the 12 tribes of Israel, so that, so to speak, everyone was included when the high priest would, would do the high priest's service. And yet, when the high priest would enter into the, to the most sacred part of the temple in Jerusalem, the Holy of Holies the high priest wouldn't be wearing all of those fancy clothes. The high priest would wear plain clothes because God sees the heart. God sees the heart. So, the, so why the clothes? Well, the, the clothes are kind of for us. Because sometimes we, we as human beings, we need the fancy clothes to get into, this, into the spirit. You know, sometimes putting on a tallis and, and fancy clothes helps me get into the spirit of Shabbat. And, and here, I hope that you wearing these beautiful clothes that you are, and nice shoes, by the way, as well, um, helps, helps you to get into the spirit of entering into to your bar mitzvah and the seriousness of that. But I also know that, that you hold on to the heart as well. And, and so will we, as we enter into our reading, it's on page 503, page 503 in the Big Burgundy book. The Azor began to shield the whole scene of the Mar, Amen. A call of a good old little to the Havola Torah, Yam to Ha Kohen. Baruch Shanatan Torah, Yamo Yisrael, Big Du Shato. We are Tema Vikimale, Hem, 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 Amen. <laughs> Shemin Zayat Zakati Lama Or Lalo Ner Tamid Beohel Moed Mikhus La Parochet Asher Al Haidut Yaruch Oto Aron Ubanav Me'erev Ad Boker Lifner Onai Chukar Olam Ledorotam Me'er Bnei Yisrael Beata ha krevel elecha in our own achicha vebana vito mito bene Israel lechanoli our own adab yavihu elazar vita mar bene aharon. We are Sita Vide Kodesh, the Aron Achicha, the Havod Otifaret, we are Tidaber Kochach Melev, 
Hashem Malati Ruachma Vyasu Bide Aron Lechacho Lechanoli Viela Habgadim Hashayasu Koshen be for Umail Uchtona Tash Bates Mitz Nefa Vyavnaid Vyasu Bide Kodesh Liaron Achicha Uvana Hab Lechanoli Vehem Yechu Erazahab Vied Hatechelet Veragaman Betolad Ashani Vied Hashesh Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lano Torah Emes V'chaye Olam Notah V'tohinu Baruch Atah Adonai Noteinu Torah Amen. This may seem like a non sequitur, but if we imagine kind of a medieval castle and we think about the windows of that castle, just for a moment, medieval castle in your mind and you're picturing the windows, um, is it more open or narrow on the outside or the inside? Inside, it's, it's wider, right? It's an interesting thing. Inside, it, it opens if we're, if we're all kind of facing the same direction. As, as you, the windows kind of open up as you go in. Why would the windows open up as you go in? Well, it brings in more light, right? And arrows, right? This is two practical reasons, medieval castle, right? Um, both is what's, what's coming in. You want to bring in the light. They're trying to bring in the light. And they're trying to shoot out arrows. <laughs> um, so there's a little what's coming in, what's going out. In Judaism, in the temple, it was the exact opposite. The windows, as you exited, the windows were wider to bring out the light to the rest of the world. And, and it's significant, you know, when we're, when we're becoming bar mitzvah, or for any of us, literally any of us, doesn't matter what your religion, ethnicity, race, any of that, it, we all as human beings can follow suit in, in trying to bring more light out into the world. So when we're reading about the ner tamid, just as we have this light in our sanctuary, we can think about other types of light. How can we be a source of light in our world, in, in everyday experience, what can we do to bring more light, uh, more joy, my, more positive energy out into the world? We continue with the second aliyah. This is on page 505 with verse 6. <laughs> Baruch Adonai and Baruch Leolam Boed, Baruch Atod Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Bachar Banu Bechol Hamim, Benasan Lanu Estoroso, Baruch Atod Adonai, Nosein HaTorah. Amen, Yasu Ed Haifot, Zahav, Tchilet V'yagaman, Tulat Shani V'shesh Mazar, Maseh Choshev, Shtake de Fort Cobrot, Yellow El Snake at Sota, Vehubar, Veche Sheva Furato, a share of love, Kama Seumi Menu Yea, Zaha, Teche, let Viagaman, Vitola Chani, Veche Mazar, Bela Kata, Stay of Nesho Ham, Ufitata Alehem, Shema Hoban Israel. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher natan lanu Torah emet, v'chai olam nata b'tochenu, Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Amen. Yashar Kach. The third reading is found on page 506 with verse 10. Page 506, verse 10. Yeah, Harry, Harry, I can't read it. Yam do shlishi.
This last reading talked about how the high priest is always wearing the names of the different tribes uh, for remembrance because it's not, it's not just, our lives aren't just a, about us. Um, we also take with us lots of other people and, and certainly, um, Gabriel, on this day, you're thinking of, uh, you know, not only, it's not only you, but your whole family and friends are, are rooting for you. They're, they're here to support you. And so, so when you're up there, you can kind of have them on your shoulders as well, so to speak, uh, knowing that they're, they're rooting for you, not just today, but, but throughout your life to have a, a deeper connection with, with God, community, and Judaism. And so we continue now uh, in just a moment with the fourth Aliyah. It's on page 506 with verse 13. Before we recite the fourth Aliyah, I just want to remind folks, for the fifth Aliyah, our, our uh, congregation has a tradition that those who are observing a yard site are remembering loved ones, just as the high priest is remembering, we're doing some remembering too. And if you're observing a yard site either today or later this week, you're welcome to come up at this time in preparation for the fifth aliyah. So right now we're on the fourth aliyah, which is on page 506 with verse 13. Yamdu Kohen. Baruch Adonai Mevorach, Baruch Adonai Mevorach, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Bacharbanu Mikol Hamin Bena Tanlanu Et Torato Baruch Atah Adonai No Ten HaTorah. Amen. Vasita Mishpet Zot Zahav Ushte Eshar Sherot Zahav Tahor. Mig balot tas mig balot tas avot et al mishpat Te chelet vargavan, ve tolat shani, ve shesh mosh zar ta seoto, ravua ee kafu, zeret orko, ve zeret rochpo, umileta vo, mi luat e a even arba a turim, aven tuhor. Odem pita uvareket hatur ha echad. And please kiss here. Baruch atah nai Eloheinu melech alam asher natalanu Torah temet vechaye olam natabet ochenu. Baruch atah nai no ten haTorah. Amen. Thank you. 
So here we have, um, first of all, Talia giving me hand signs. She's telling me how to sing and chant the Torah. So I'm reading the words and she's giving me the tune, so to speak. So she's not, there's nothing about stealing second that's going on here. Um, <coughs> the, the Torah itself talks about choshen um, mishpat. So there's, there's always sense that the, 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 the priests, uh, it's the duties, the religious duties aren't just toward God, but mishpat means, means judgment. Uh, there's a sense of judgment, righteousness. Uh, the priests are supposed to have compassion and kindness. These are, these are qualities that the, the, the religious leaders are supposed to have, and they're qualities that we want to imbue in, in all the members of our congregation and in everyone that sense these, these incredible, important values of the Torah, justice, righteousness, kindness, and compassion. So we continue now with the fifth aliyah. This is our yard site aliyah. And it's on page 507 with verse 18. Iyamdu chamishi. And please kiss here. Amen. Sapir via Hadom, Vahatur, Hashli, she, Leshem, Shevo, Vahlama, Vahatur, Harabi, Tarshish, Shoham, the Shoham, via Shfe, Mishubatim, Zahav, Ihu, Vim, Luotam, Vahava, Nihim, Tiena, Al. Shimbot Bene Israel, Shtim Esre, Al Shmosam, Pitu He Hotam, Ish Al Shmo, Tihena, Lishne, Asar Shavet. And and for those who were remembering, may their messing, memories be for a blessing. Um, the next aliyah is the sixth aliyah. It's found on page 507 with verse 22. Yamdu shi shi. If you hold here, and then please kiss here. Thanks. <laughs> Asher bachar banu mikol hamim benatan lanu et Torah to baruch atad unai no ten haTorah. Amen. Vasihita al hachoshen sharshot gavluot mase avod zahav tahor vasita al hachoshen. Shte tab oot zahav venatata et shte hataba oot al shne ket soot a hoshen venatata et shte avot oot hazahav al shte hataba oot al ket soot ha hoshen vet shte ket soot shte havot oot ti ten a o shte Hamishbatsot Venatata Al Kitfot Haifot El Mohopanahav. Please 
Ladies Kiss hier. May the, the seventh aliyah, it's found on page 508, uh, verse 26. And this is very exciting because we're calling up Gabriel's parents. And um, this, is, this is something I always get very excited about because um, we read to our kids when they're real little. And now Gabriel's going to be reading in a moment for us from our holy Torah. We passed down from generation to generation to generation. And now he's going to be reading it for y'all and for the whole congregation. So very exciting. Yom do shivi. Please kiss here. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach. Leolah Ma'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach. Leolah Ma'ed. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim. And Atamanu Etu Etu. Baruch Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Vasita. Shte tabot zahav, ushmo visamta otam, al shne kitsot ha hoshin, al svato ho, asher el ever haifod paita, vasita, shte tabot zahav, venatata otam, al shte hit fot. Hai fod mila mata mi mo pana av lu umat mach barto mi ma le cheshev hai fod vayer kesu et ha choshen mi tabot av el tabot hai fod viftil te chelat leot al cheshev hai fod. Velo Isaac ha Hoshen me al hai for Venasa Aaron et Shemot ben Yisrael be Hoshen amishpat ali bo pivo el ha Kodesh le zikaron lifne Adonai tamid Venatata el Hoshen hamishpat Et haorim vet hatumim vehayu alev aharon bevo lifne aronai vinasa aharon et mishpat bene israel ali boho lifne aronai tamihin. We're welcome to rise. Yit Gadov, Yit Gadash, Shemay Rabba, Mamadi Brachir, Tev Yam Lich Machute, Bechai Echon, Uv Yom Echon, Uchaye de Chobet Yisrael, Bahagala, Bahagala, Uvizmahan Kari Biveru, Amen, Yahesh Me Rabba, Mivarach, Leola Malal Mehal Maaya, Yit Barach. Yit parach vish tabach vid par vid raman vid nasay vid adar vid talay vid talal shmei de kudesha brichu leilam in kol birchata v'shirata tush lechata v'nechemata da'amihiran b'alama v'imeru amen. In a moment, we'll continue with uh, prayers for healing for those in need. Uh, before we continue with prayers of healing, we just want to have in mind also members of, of Gabriel's family who um, 
who are in need of healing and, and who couldn't be here physically today. Um, we hope that you're connecting with us online and we're sending love and wishing healing to you as well. Um, and when I say the Misha Berach prayer, and I pause during the prayer for healing, if you could quietly say the names of those whom you're thinking about who are in need of healing, that would be wonderful and a blessing. Amen. May the Holy One send healing, healing of body, healing of spirit. May the Holy One grant courage to all who are ill and strength to those who support them. And let us say, Amen. Amen. At this time, we lift the first Sefer Torah. Yamod Hamagbia Yamod Hagolel Seferi Show. Vizot Hatora Asher Samoshe Livne Vene Israel Alpia Dohonai Behad Moshe Vezot Hatora Hashe Samoshe Vezot Vezot Hatora Vezot Hatora Hashe Samoshe Vezot Vezot Hatora Lif Nevenehe Yisrahel Vezot Vezot Hatora Alpiadanai Beyad Moshe Vezot Vezot Hatora Vezot Hatora Hashe Samoshe Vezot Vezot Hatora We may be seated. And Gabriel's reading for today um, is further on in the Etz Chaim. So we're traveling, same big burgundy book, but on page 1135. Page 1135 is his reading, and he has a special reading because the holiday of Purim is coming up, um, just to, to get ready. There's, there's a, a wicked person in the story of Purim who uh, tries to destroy the Jewish people. It's very painful, unfortunately. Um, and of course, we're dealing, unfortunately, with anti-Semitism adayom hazeh until this day. But there, in the story of Purim, uh, the people are are saved, and so this wicked person uh, does not succeed in their plans. Um, the wicked person came from a, a certain group of people who also historically, and even in the Torah here, uh, weren't doing so such great things. That's what the reading is about. <laughs> However, it's partially, it really just to get us uh, in to, to the holiday of Purim. And that's why we're doing this special reading on page 1135. And, and we're very excited, Gabriel, for your reading. It's on page 1135 with verse 17. Yamod bar mitzvah, Gabriel Shai, Ben Yechazkel, Michael Hakohen, Vimichal Tamar, Maftir, Kazak, Kazak, Yivrechecha, Hashem Etzion, Revit of Yerushalayim, Yivrechecha, Hashem Etzion, Kol Yemei Mechayecha. Shalom
Zechor, eit asher asalech amalek, baderech veitam imitraim, asher karcha, baderech vizanech lecha, kol anefesh alim acharecha, v'tayef v'geya v'lo yer Elohim. V'yahahaha, v'yoniach Adonai Elohecha lecha, mikor oivecha, Misaviv, Be'art, Asher, Adonai, Eloecha, Noten, Lecha, Nachla, Lishter, Timche, Et Zecher, Malik, Mitacha, Tashamayim, Lo Tishka. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, Asher natan lanu Torah temet, Vahaye olam nata betochenu, Baruch Adonai noten ha-Torah. Amen. Yashar Kach, beautiful reading. We're welcome to rise at this time for the lifting of the second Sefer Torah. Yashar. Yamod ha-Magbiya, Yamod ha-Golel Sefer Sheni. This is a, a harder lift, because it's all on one side. Yashikach v'zot ha-Torah asher samoshe lifne v'nei Yisrael al pi Adonai v'yad moshe Torah, 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 tziva lanu moshe Torah, 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 Torah Tziva lanu Moshe Torah, 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 Torah Tziva lanu Moshe Torah, 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 Torah Torah Tziva lanu Moshe Torah, 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 Tziva lanu Moshe Torah, 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 Tziva lanu Moshe. In just a moment, once the Torah is seated, we may also be seated. The half Torah for today is found in the back of the Big Burgundy book, the Etz Chaim, on page 1283. Page 1283, otherwise known as 1283. And in, in a moment, Gabriel is going to begin uh, in verse 13. Um, this is uh, another kind of further on after the Israelites uh, had encountered this people which had attacked them and especially kind of a attacked those who were most needy among the Israelites were attacked. Um, later on, we have another uh, descendant of that same people who uh, was also tormenting the Jewish people. Um, God asked the new king, King Saul, uh, to take care of the situation, uh, but he didn't quite do that, and he was kind of taking some of, of the, uh, the resources which were not supposed to be used. They, we weren't supposed to get benefit from uh, the, the sheep and the goats and the cows and things like this. But, but Saul held on to some of them, possibly for himself, but possibly to sacrifice to God. And there's a very famous quote here very famous quote in our tradition. Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as much as, much as listening to, to the voice of God? Because listening is more important than the sacrifices. Again, there are certain things in religion that we do that's about us. So to speak, we, we may need the sacrifices. God allows us to do these, these offerings uh, in the past. But that's not what was so important to God. Again, God sees the heart. And, you know, this is like sometimes maybe you have a kid who goes and, and isn't listening to you. That does, I'm just theoretically, it doesn't happen in my family that, that they don't listen. But <clears throat> theoretically, I've heard it said that sometimes that, that happens and they don't listen. And, but sometimes they're like, well, but here I'm giving you a color drawing, so we're all good, right? Um, and, um, and so to speak, God is saying, like, 
the colored drawings, like a crayon or marker, that's, it's nice, but what I really want is for you to listen. <laughs> um, and so that's part of what's going on in the Haftorah. Again, uh, page 1283, verse 13. Vayavo Shmuel El Sha'u Vayomer Lo Sha'u Baruch Ata Ba'aronai Hakimoti Et Avaronai Vayomer Shmuel Umek Latzon Hazebaz Nai Viko Habakar Asher anochi shomea Vayamer sha'u Malameki aviyu Asher ha'am ha'am Metav ha'tzon Vihabakar Lidman zevach Adonai Elohecha Vieta ha'yoter Chechem ramnu Vayomer Shmuel El Shuel Heref Begida Lech Et Asher Diber Adonai El Halayla Vayomer Loda Beher Vayomer Shmuel Alamim Katon Ata Vianach Rosh Shivte Yisrael Ata Vayim Shlacha Charonai Lemelech Yal Yisrael Vayim Shlacha Charonai Baderech Vayomer Lech Vye Shacham Ramta Et Chacham Ramta Im Et Amalek Inilham Voad Kolotam Otam Velaman Loshamata Bekoronai Vataat El Hashalala Vataas Harabianai Adonai Vayamir Shau El Shmuel Asher shamati bekol Adonai Ve'elech baterech asher shalachni Adonai Ve'avi et agag melech amalek Ve'et amalek hechem ramti Ve'ikach ha'am mehashala Tzor ukara Rishid Hachem Rem Lis Boach Leronai Elohecha Bag Yogal Vayomer Shmuel Chachafetz Leronai Be'olot Ut Zarachim Ki Omo Abeko Leronai Hine Shomoa Mizavav Tov Lechav Shiv Melev Elihim Kiataat Kesem Meri Veavin Utrafim Hatzor Yan Mantas et Devar Adonai Vaim Secha Mi Melech Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Tzor Ko HaOlamim Sadiq Bechol HaDorot Ha'ilil HaOm HaOmer Ve'oseh Hamdaber Yimkem Shekol Devarad Emet Vatsedek 
Al Hatorah, Ve Al Avado, Ve Al Han Vim, Ve Al Yom Hashabat Hazeh, Shinatalanu, Adonai, Eloheinu, Leak Dushaf and Lim Nucha, Lechot of Utsif Eret, Al Hako, Adonai, Eloheinu, Anachnu, Modim Lach, Urachim, Otach, Yit barach shimcha befiko chai to midle long va eh baruchata adonai vakadesh hashabat. Amen. Yashar toach. Beautiful. And now we get to really what is uh, my, my most favorite part. Um, where Gabriel gets to share his Torah, his, his teaching with us. And um, his sermon is uh, both insightful, uh, very thoughtful, and, um, and shares a, a lot of heart and, as well. So thank you, Gabriel, for sharing your Torah with us. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. My Torah reading today talks about how the high priest had to carry the 12 names of the Twelve tribes' names before, before when he came before God in the sanctuary, just like how our state representatives are supposed to represent us in Congress. So the high priests were supposed to be our representative before God. He was supposed to be thinking about us and our needs. But I wonder, did the high priest really always have our best interest in mind when he came before God? How much was he thinking about himself or his family? How much was he thinking about the needs of his community? Sometimes it's hard to balance our needs and wants with others. Earlier on in the Torah, our ancestor Jacob was dying, and his children came to say good goodbye. They were unable to save him, but I wonder, what if they could? Or what if they were able to keep him alive a little longer? I saw what happened at Amar Hamlin, and I thought to myself, what happens if someone in that scenario has a do not resuscitate order? What would have happened at Amar Hamlin? He would have died because they would not have been allowed to perform CPR. Then I started thinking, had a conversation with my dad, and asked him if he has a do not resuscitate order. And he said in some circumstances he does. Um, and then I asked him, even if that would cause less time with me and Ari, and he answered, if I'm in the position where I can't think for myself, and I have to be put on a respirator, then Uncle Jonathan would make the decision. Then I asked him, what about me? Couldn't I make the decision? He gave me two reasons why I shouldn't be the one to make that type of decision. One, I'm too young, and two, I wouldn't have his best interest in mind. That was tough to hear, but I agree he's probably right. If that meant having more time with my dad, I probably would choose giving him CPR and keeping him on a respirator. If that meant I was able to spend more time with my dad, that's what I would do. My Uncle Jonathan is older than me and has much more experience than I do. He's more mature than me and has known my dad much longer than I have. So my Uncle Jonathan would know more what my dad would want. He'd be more likely to make the decision based on what my dad would want rather than what he would want. For me, that'd still be difficult. I may not be ready to make a decision like that yet, but at this point, I'm definitely more mature than I was as a kid since technically now I'm a man. But seriously, when I'm going to hang out with my friends, we do have to make decisions like how to act in public. There comes a time when you can't act ch childish in public places. You have to think not just about yourself, but about others around you. That's what part of being a bar mitzvah is. It's thinking about yourself, but also those around you. This is what my Uncle Jonathan would need to do. This is what those around the Mar Hab Hamlin did do. And this is what the high priest had to do. He had to balance his and his family's needs with those of the entire community. Part of how I'm learning to do this is through my bar mitzvah project. I've been volunteering at Saturday Hoops, it is a place where underprivileged kids get to go hang out and play basketball, do arts and crafts, and read books. It's definitely been getting experience. I've definitely been getting experience and seeing people in a different way. One kid saw his football coach get shot after practice. He's experienced much more hard stuff than I have. For me, that puts into perspective how hard life can be. Um, I'm so grateful for all the blessings I have in my life. I'm so grateful for my friends and family, Grateful for the opportunities with sports I've gotten, and I'm grateful to be able to have a bar mitzvah. I may not be as mature as the high priest or as my uncle Jonathan, but I'm on my way. Shabbat shalom.
Well, Gabriel, um, you have uh, been a gift to us. In a moment, I'd like to give some gifts to you. Um, we have gifts like the, the gift from the Jewish Federation, the Gift of Israel Award, so that you can continue to keep connect deeply with your homeland and, and enrich your experiences there and, and maybe find that the texts that you were just reading were found in the very land over there from, from whence they came. And of course, we, we want to celebrate by giving you your certificate as well, of becoming a bar mitzvah, as you said, a man this day. And then there's a continued growth, as you mentioned as well. Um, we also have, of course, the Sidor from our sisterhood and uh, the Chumash, the, the Etz Chaim from our brotherhood. And we all even have um, a, a book of uh, songs and, and benching the blessing after the meals so that when you go to USY conventions, you can bring the joy that you have in your heart and share it with all the folks there as well. But in addition to these gifts, I, I just want to share for a moment something that, that I found interesting about the Parsha that, that I want to share with, with you and the congregation. Um, you read uh, together with me about the, the beautiful clothing of the high priest, and we spoke about that earlier. And in particular, earlier I mentioned uh, your very nice shoes, which, which look good, and you're getting used to a little bit. Um, <laughs> one of the interesting things about the high priest, all of that fancy clothing, was that the high priest was not wearing shoes. This is very interesting for us, right? Because we have fancy clothing, usually, you know, no shoes, no service. Obviously, we've had a service with you wearing shoes. But it was different for the high priest, right? There's something, and not, we, we want you to continue wearing shoes when you come here. I'm not, not saying that. But there was something going on with the high priest not wearing shoes. You know, we see this earlier in the Torah with Moshe. When Moshe is at the burning bush, God says, take off your shoes for the land that you're standing on is, is holy. There's something where the high priest needed to be grounded. I don't know if, if you try this sometimes or how many of you like sometimes walk around, whether in the house or outside, without shoes. But if, if you walk around outside without your shoes, maybe you go into the backyard or something like that, you can feel a lot more. You can feel a lot more. Your feet kind of pick up. Hopefully you're doing it in an area which, which is relatively clean, no meadow muffins or anything like that. Um, but that connection, that groundedness, that feeling is something that you have. You really have your sensitivity toward others, your incredible big heart that you have, the joy that you bring. You have that connection. And, and I pray for you that you'll continue that connection connecting to your family, connecting to the congregation, connecting to the Jewish people all throughout the world, connecting to your Jewish heritage, and now that you're a man, entering more deeply, and you can really start to see parts of the tradition that we weren't able to share with you when you were like in second grade, even though second graders see a lot, right, love? But there's even more coming up, and there's more for you coming up as you continue in the, in, in, in the seventh and eighth and, and program and Shalanu later on in the high school program where there's, there's so much of Judaism that you can get to start exploring now. And you'll go out in the world, and we pray for you that you'll always have, just like the high priest with the bare feet, staying grounded and connected, 
that you maintain that connection, that connection to God, to Israel, to Torah, and to yourself and your beautiful heart. So I'm going to give you a few gifts, and um, Rabbi Jaffe is, is here also to give you a special gift from Rockward. Gabriel Mazel Tov. On behalf of Rockhorn Academy and Rabbi Baum, our head of school, and all of your teachers at Rockhorn, we're so proud and happy for you. And um, your menschlichkeit, your humanity, your kindness, and as Rabbi Spolkin said, your compassion is so evident. This is one book for your Jewish bookshelf. I hope you open it, look at it, read it, think your own thoughts. You're teaching us here today. Thank you for being our teacher. You're going to continue being our teacher as you lead your next stage of being part of this Jewish community. And we're just so proud of you. And um, we really appreciate the Kippa colors. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but shout out to Rockward Academy. <laughs> Orange and blue, Mazel Tov. Thank you so much, Rabbi. Beautiful. And, and thank you, parents. Um, morning, everyone. First, I want to start by uh, thanking both the rabbi and Mitch for working with Gabriel over the past year. Uh, you guys you had your work cut out for you. He made it through Rockhorn without learning Hebrew, a little secret <laughs> that we just shared with everyone. <laughs> also, Gabriel, I want to note from your remarks, um, Zoom, I think that your service is being recorded. There was a part where you said that I was right, and I just want to hold that over you for the rest of your life. <laughs> Gabriel, I am so proud of you at this moment. Watching you perform your bar mitzvah today has been one of the highlights for me as a parent. As I started preparing to write this speech, I pulled this little card out from my wallet that most of you can't see, but Gabriel can. On this card is the Kawaga ideal. I can't begin to think about you, the young man you become, without considering the role that being a Kawaga brave has played in your growth and development. Camp Kawaga is the one place where you show up as the best version of yourself. This summer will be the seventh at camp. I remember taking you for father-son weekend seven years ago and leaving you for the two-week rookie camp. I think I was more nervous than you were. You fit in right away, and when you came home for a one-week break before trying Camp Sabra, I saw it in your eyes. You were a Kawaga brave. Over the subsequent five summers, you have explored and tried just about every activity the camp has to offer. You've achieved Mwanda and Sachem twice. You have built friendships with boys all over the country. Your experiences at camp are informed by the Kawaga ideal. At camp, you are brave, you are humble, you overcome challenges, you show compassion towards your fellow campers, you laugh, and I know you cry too sometimes. Every year, you return from camp with these qualities, especially when it comes to your brother, who is now a Kawaga Brave. I know that even though you fight with him at home, at camp you are loving and supportive. I know that having him at camp only enhances that experience for both of you. As I read through the Kawaga ideal, I think about how you personify so many of the virtues revealed in this anonymous prayer one man has for his son. Every time I read through this prayer, I too share the hopes and dreams for you, my son. The prayer begins, build me a son, Lord, one who will be strong enough to know when he is weak and brave enough to face himself when he is afraid, one who will be proud and unbending in defeat, yet humble and gentle in victory. Gabriel, you have such a strong internal sense of who you are. You don't seem afraid of anything, even if that means failing at something. Over the last year, I've been surprised to discover a level of confidence that you possess. I don't know where you get that from. When I was 13, I certainly wasn't as confident as you are. I want to remind you that while having confidence is important, it's equally important that you practice humility. The ideal continues, a son whose wishbone will not be where his backbone should be. A son who will know that to know myself is the foundation stone of all true knowledge. Gabriel, you stand up for others. You do not tolerate bullying, unless, of course, you're bullying your brother. 
Since you were very young, you've been interested in the story of my grandparents, Sam and Rachel Boymel. We've had numerous conversations about their life as survivors and the rise of anti-Semitism in America. And because of that, I believe you're prepared to stand up for all people. Just last week, you wrote a paper in school about being an upstander. Having a backbone and doing the right thing always will serve you well in life. The next section of, of the ideal continues. Rear him, I pray, not in the paths of ease and comfort, but under the stress and spur of difficulties and challenges. Here let him learn to stand up in the storm. Here let him learn compassion for those who fail. Gabriel, getting comfortable being uncomfortable leads to tremendous growth. As your dad, I get to watch you struggle and grow. While watching you struggle isn't always easy, I know the times of your greatest growth are when you have struggled against this discomfort you're feeling. The example that comes to mind is one that I wasn't even present for. A couple of summers ago, again at camp, you wanted to learn how to slalom, ski on one water ski around the bay. I can imagine that you struggled the first time. You may not have even gotten up on that ski. Then maybe you got up for a few seconds before falling down, but you didn't complete the circuit around the bay. Finally, after determination and grit, you got your miracle, a camp term for doing something on the ski dock for the first time. You should hold that example up to remind yourself that you can overcome the obstacles in your path through perseverance. Ryan Holiday has written a number of books that have shaped the way I view the world. One of them, The Obstacles Away, was written of his, it was one of his earlier books and has had the greatest impact on me. From him I learned that obstacles are simply opportunities for us to practice virtues like patience, courage, humility, resourcefulness, reason, justice, and creativity. The second to last paragraph of the ideal continues, build me a son whose heart will be clean, whose goal will be high, a son who will master himself before he seeks to master others, one who will learn to laugh, yet never forget how to weep, one who will reach into the future, but never forget the past. And after all these are his, add I pray, enough of a sense of humor so that he may always be serious, but not take himself too seriously. A touch of humility so that he may always remember the simplicity of true greatness, the open mind of true wisdom, and the meekness of true strength. Gabriel, you are just starting to get better at getting better, which is a lifelong practice. Learning how to play golf seems to be the first time you've really committed to something. You've shared with me that you're making time every day to hit golf balls. Working on your golf game is the beginning of a habit. I hope you will see that you can apply this practice to everything you want to accomplish in life. We get better in tiny, almost imperceptible increments. You also have a passion for diving deep into things that interest you. I hope as you read and reread the ideal, you will see that as a Kawaga Brave, you're expected to expand your interest as wide as you can. You will discover that you never imagined, you will, you will discover, <coughs> you will discover things you never imagined and these interests will bring you even greater wisdom and strength as you go through life. The Kawaga ideal concludes with the following line. Then I, his father, will dare in the recesses of my own heart to whisper, I have not lived in vain. Gabriel, every time I read that line, I get chills, including now. This concluding line also reminds me to be more intentional about feeling gratitude for being a father, something that doesn't always come easy to me. As I've watched you prepare for today, I find myself being aware of just how grateful I am to have you as a son. I am so immensely proud of you, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. It was beautiful. Gabriel, so just a warning, the rabbi gave me permission to share a few memories from childhood with everyone today, but I won't embarrass you, I promise. So I'm beyond proud of you. You did such an exceptional job today, and I think I hopefully tell you and your brother this, but you and your brother are the greatest blessings and joy in my life and what I'm most grateful for. And I hope that as you start your journey into adulthood, that you will always appreciate your blessings and your unique strengths and gifts, and to always know and honor them and grow them. So today, there's a few I just want to point out that have made me especially proud. So Gabriel, from a very young age, maybe three, was asking the most insightful questions about God and religion, our religion, other religions. And then there was this moment where he said, Mom, I had a conversation with God. 
And for those of you who know me, this was like a very big parenting moment. And I'm sitting on the edge of my chair, and I said, what, what did you, what did you pray for? He said, Mom, I asked God to make my mommy better at Legos so she could help me build more. And while God did not answer that prayer, I'm so sorry, but he blessed you with a father who's exceptional at Legos, I hope that you will continue your whole life to have an active relationship with God and religion where you question and learn and you keep looking at it from all angles. The next one of your gifts is that of your maturity and depth. I'm guessing I'm not the only one in the room right now who's had the experience of being halfway through a conversation with Gabriel and all of a sudden you're talking to an adult and you have to kind of take a step back and say, oh my God, wait, he's only 10, 11, 12. We've had that. And you gave me your first hint of this when you were just over a year. Now the moms and dads in the audience, I'm sure can remember when your baby first got out of the crib before you were ready, you walked in and they were on the floor and you, you know, knew you had to get the baby gates. Well, Gabriel was a few steps ahead and I went outside for something. I came back, he was asleep in his crib. He had managed in five minutes to get out of the crib, down a very steep flight of stairs across the family room to sit in a chair and giggle at me when I opened the door and about <laughs> had, you know, this moment of shock where are there two of you? I thought you were up, up there in the crib. And I think that was the moment that he was giving me a little bit of a warning before he could talk that I will always be a few steps ahead and you will always be playing catch up. And that has been so true with his NFT collection and wanting to sell them on OpenSea and the real estate business plan to open his technology company and the full putting green that he built in our garage. Um, but it makes me proud. It makes me so proud. And my favorite story most recently that warms my heart was I invited my young son to come with me when I went to the car dealership to buy a new car. And Gabriel came up to the salesman poised and confident, shook his hand, looked him in the eye. Hi, I'm Gabriel. I'm here to help my mom. And I was so touched by that. And the salesman said, what do you do? Thinking basketball, football. Gabriel says, I'm in cryptocurrency. And um, so the, the guy took a step back. So my hope for you is that with that maturity and depth, that even when you think you know it all, and there's no need to learn more, that you go back and you keep your mind open and you know that there's always something to learn. And the next gift that has just been natural, and your dad mentioned it too, is this pursuit of justice, which is so important to Judaism. I have been so proud of how you instinctively stand up to racism and you tell your story of our history and you educate people because of the shock that you feel when people don't know about the history of the Holocaust and other really important issues. And lastly, the superpower today, your gift of friendship and caring for others. I can't tell you how many moms have texted me, called me to say, your son was there for my child when they went through their hardest time, or they helped my son or daughter understand the most hardest topic, or even the boy that you mentored at Saturday Hoops who knew you for a half hour and felt comfortable to share with you what he had been through. Or when your dad and I called you at Camp Kawaga and said, surprise, we're moving you to a school of 200 people instead of 10 in your grade in two weeks and be ready. And you went to orientation and within 30 minutes you had a new group of friends. Thank you, Chaz. <laughs> and if you look around today, you see all those friends here and we couldn't be prouder of you and how you've brought that friendship to the world. So my greatest hope for you is as you go into adulthood, you use these strengths and these gifts and you find ways to make the world a better place. Shabbat Shalom. I love you. Gabriel is now going to continue back in the Torah service itself on page 176. So this is taking out the Sidur, the prayer book, page 176 with Yakum Porkan. And thank you again, Gabriel, for leading us. Yakum Porkan means Shemaya. Yes, 
We rise for the blessing for our country, page 177. With mercy, accept our prayer on behalf of our country and its government. Pour out your blessing upon this land, upon its inhabitants, upon its leaders, its judges, officers, and officials who faithfully devote themselves to the needs of the public. Help them understand the rules of justice you have decreed so that peace and security, happiness and freedom will never depart from our land. Adonai, God, and His Spirit is in all creatures. We pray that your Spirit be awakened with all inhabitants of our land, a root from our hearts, hatred of malice, jealousy and strife. Plant love and companionship, peace and friendship among the many peoples and faiths who dwell in our nation. Grant us the knowledge to judge justly, the wisdom to act with compassion, and the understanding and courage to root out poverty from our land. May it be your will that our land be a blessing to all who dwell on earth, and may you cause all peoples to dwell in friendship and freedom. Speedily fulfill the vision of your prophets. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. For all of them, from the least of them to the greatest, shall know me. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Yashakach, we continue on page 178 with a prayer for the state of Israel. Avinu Sheba Shemaim, stronghold and redeemer of the people of Israel. Bless the state of Israel that it may be the beginning of our redemption. Shield it with your love, spread over it peace, spread over it the shelter of your peace. Guide its leaders and advisors with your light and your truth. Help them with your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of those who defend our holy land. Deliver them, crown their efforts with triumph. Bless the land and the peace with its inhabitants and with lasting joy, and let us say amen. amen. <laughs> we continue now with the prayer for peace, middle of 178. May we see the day when war and bloodshed cease when a and great, great peace, peace will embrace the whole world. Then nation will not threaten nation and the human family will not again know war. For all who live on earth shall realize we have not come into being to hate or to destroy. We have come into being to praise, to labor, and to love. Compassionate God, bless the leaders of all nations with the power of compassion. Fulfill the promise conveyed in scripture I will bring peace to the land, and you shall lie down, and no one shall terrify you. I will rid the land of vicious beasts, and it shall not be ravaged by war. Let justice and righteousness flow like a mighty stream. Let God's peace fill the earth as the waters fill the sea. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Yashakach, we may be seated, page 181. Jesus, one. You ready? Three, two, one. Ashe, Yoshe, Beitecha, 
We continue page 183. We're welcome to rise. <clears throat> Oh, 
devote shalom aleinu. O devote shalom aleinu. O devote shalom aleinu ve'al kulam. O devote shalom aleinu. O devote shalom aleinu. O devote shalom aleinu ve'al kulam. Salam aleinu. Salam, salam, shalom. Salam, aleinu ve'al ko'olam. Salam, shalom. Oh, can you sing that one more time? Can you sing it again? Odebos, shalom, aleinu. Odebos, shalom, aleinu. Page 184. <laughs> standing and we continue with Chatzikanish on page 184 before all joining together for Musaf page 185 through the Kedusha all together. Yitkadol v'yitkadol shumei rabah v'yomadi v'rakarute v'yomlich malchute v'chayye chonu v'yomei chon v'chayye d'chol b'yit Yisrael Bagala, Bagala, Uvis man karif, Vimaru, Amen, Yeheshme Rabba Mivorat, Leola Mulome Omaya, Yet Barak, Yet Barak, Vishtabak, Vit Parvit Ramam Yenase, Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halo, Shemeda Kudusha. Lelamin kober chatav shirata tush bechatav ne chemata dami ran biyama v'emaru baruch atad noi Eloheinu Elohei avotenu v'imotenu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov. Elohe Swara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Lea, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanura, El El Yon, Gomel Chasarim Tovim, Vikone Hako, Vizoker Chaste Avot, Vimahot, Ume Vigo El Ivne Venehem, Leman Shemo Viahava, Melech Ozer Ufokeru Moshia Umagain, Baruch atah Adonai, Magin Avraham, Ufo Keit Sarah, Atah Gibor Le'elam Adonai, Mechayi Metim Atarav Lehoshia, Mashi Varuach, Umarid HaGashem, Mechalkel Chayim Bechesed, Mechayi Metim Berachamim Rabim, Somek Noflim Berofei Cholim, 
If you're still davening, please go ahead and continue. Otherwise, we're welcome to be seated as we turn to page 191 for Sim Shalom. Sim, 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 Sim Shalom, Shalom, Sim Shalom, Shalom, Tova, Uvracha, Sim, 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 Sim Shalom, Shalom, Tova, Uvracha, Chein vechesed v'rachamim aleinu v'yoko Yisrael amecha. Pachainu avinu kulanu ki echad biyor panecha. Sim, 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 shalom ba'alam, sim, shalom ba'alam, tova uvracha. Sim, 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 shalom ba'alam, tova uvracha. Ki viyor panecha netata lanu adunai elohe. Tovrakha <laughs> Vitahu peinecha levarech et amecha et amecha Yisrael Bechol edu vechol shah bishlome bishlomecha Sim, sim, sim shalom ba'alam, sim shalom ba'alam tova uvracha Sim, sim, sim shalom ba'alam Tova uvracha, Baruch atah Adonai, Hamvarech et Amo Yisrael, Baal Shalom. Amen. Page 203, Kaddish Shalem. Yikidol v'yikidol shemei rabah, V'yamad ibrak rutei, V'yamlich malchutei, B'chai echonu v'yamechonu v'chai edufu v'yit Yisrael, V'agalah b'zman k'ri v'yimmeru. Yehesh me rabba mevorach Le'olam ulal me omaya Yid barach Yid barach v'yishtabach V'yitpa'ar v'yitrumam v'yitnaseh V'yitadar v'yitlev v'yitlol shmei d'kudashah Le'ela min kol v'chata v'shirat Atush v'chata v'nechem alta Damiran v'yoma v'yimmeru Tekabol slo t'hon v'u t'hon d'chol Yisrael Kodama v'hon di v'shmaya v'yimmeru Yehei shlama rabba min shamayi v'chaim Aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'yimru Oh, seh shalom b'mromav Hu yaseh shalom aleinu V'yal kol Yisrael v'yimru Imru, amen Yaseh shalom, yaseh shalom Shalom aleinu v'yalko Yisrael Yase shalom, yase shalom Shalom aleinu v'yalko Yisrael V'yemaru amen Yasher kach, beautiful Mitch. We're going to travel in the sea door. We're welcome to rise as we turn to page 75 page 75, and we're going to say this ancient blessing to Gabriel. He has been a blessing and given gifts to us, and we're going to give him a special blessing at this point. Um, we're on page 75, and we're going to read in English on the left side. Um, it's kind of this last paragraph. Please rise. We can all say this in English together. <laughs> Again, it's on page 75. And we can all say it together. It's May Adonai, and we'll say it now. May Adonai bless and protect you. May Adonai's countenance shine upon you, and may Adonai bestow kindness upon you. May Adonai's countenance be lifted toward you, and may Adonai grant you peace. And we'll chant it now in the Hebrew. Yivarechacha Adonai v'yishmerecha, Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'chunecha, Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom. Amen. And now we're welcome to be seated. Gabriel has a few things to, sh to say to us.
I want to thank everybody for coming today and being a part of my bar mitzvah, especially the friends and family who traveled from California, DC, Florida, North Carolina, Michigan, Atlanta, New York, Indianapolis, Chicago, and Columbus. I also want to give a special thanks to my family, my mom for always finding something to do when I'm bored, and th that's a lot. Um, <laughs> for always taking care of me when I'm sick, helping me with my schoolwork, and always watching my sports. My favorite memories are our Israel trips. I want to thank my dad for always helping me with my sports, teaching me so many new things, like riding a bike and watching all my bar mitzvah rehearsals. Even though sometimes I don't like it, I appreciate him motiv motivating me to do well in school. My favorite memory was going to the Super Bowl in LA. I want to thank Ari for being such a great brother and being so good at sports and always coming to my games even when you don't want to. I have a lot of memories with you, but my favorite is when we found out we had COVID and ended up staying late, staying up late playing Xbox together. <laughs> Mimi, Papa, Soft, and Gramps. You guys are the best grandparents I could ever ask for. Um, thank you for always being there for me, taking me shopping, to play golf, and my sleepovers. Um, I cannot lead the service today without Mitch's help. Thank you for being so helpful on my journey to becoming a bar mitzvah. And Rabbi, I know we only worked two sessions, worked together for two sessions, but I really enjoyed it and thinking about the questions you asked. CIT 27, I love you guys. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We continue now, page 204, with Ain Kelohenu. Yashakach. Well, well done. Page 204 in the middle with Amar Rabbi Elazar. Amar Rabbi Elazar, Amar Rabbi Hanina. Amar Rabbi Elazar, Amar Rabbi Hanina. Tell me, day Chachamim, Marbim Shalom Ba'olam. Shene Emar, Vecho Benayich Lemodei Adonai. Verav Shalom Benayich, Al Tigra Benayich, Ele Bonayich. Shalom Rav, Shalom Rav, Leochave Torotecha, Vien Lamo, Vien Lamo, Vien Lamo, Michel, Yehi Shalom Bechelech, Shalva Biarmen Yehi shalom bechelech, shalva b'yarmen otayich. Leman achai v'reyai, leman achai v'reyai. Adabra nach, adabra nach, shalom bach. Leman beit Adonai Elohim. Shatov Loch Adonaios Leamo Yitain Adonai Varech Etamo Basha 
Page 205, Alenu. Um, I get to follow Hannah and Logan <laughs> and Mitch with the mask on. I mean, are you kidding me? Wow. Logan, I got chills. So, Gabriel, <clears throat> you had, you had a very, <laughs> being rushed, I got to pull the hook. Um, you were very fortunate to know your great grandparents on the Boy Mel side and know their history. You knew great, great Bubba Dorothy. You never met your great grandfather, Sadie Irving. But I wanted to share something with you before we do a link. Um, 120 years ago, from Yash, Romania, Rev. Schmerl Herman, my great-grandfather, your great-great-grandfather, immigrated to Montreal. In those days, before the Nazis showed up, they burned the books in the, in the synagogues, and they burned all the records of all the Jewish people in Yash. He came to Montreal, and he served as a cantor at Adith Israel Synagogue hmm. in Toronto. I was in the junior congregation there when I was a teenager. Your great-great-uncle, Uncle Lou, was a protege of Cantor Yosel Roosevelt, who was one of the great cantors of the early 20th century, and cantors at that time were, were considered opera singers. So Uncle Lou was a cantor for 52 years in Camden, New Jersey, outside of Philadelphia. So you have quite a lineage on that side. Um, Great-grandfather uh, great uh, Irving did high holiday services sometimes, and I did it once. And Mom and Aunt Suzanne got to be there, sit through the entire uh, session. So with that, my friend, we have to do Elenu together. And by the way, I've done this with the Topol family. This is the first time I'm doing it in my family, and Gabriel wanted to do it with me. So it's an honor for you to do that with me, and I hope that we follow the Simpsons very well while we do this, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Game on.
We may be seated. In a few moments, we'll continue with Mourner's Kaddish, which is found on page 207. Of course, this, of course, this week we're thinking of Miriam and, and wishing comfort for her family and sending love. We also, at this time, remember those whose yard sites occur today and later this week and whose names are lovingly recorded in the Boymel Memorial Hall. For today, we, we remember uh, Buzz Widlansky, Bernice Beichman, Jeffrey Blatt, Jacob Jacobson, Abraham Kassar, Maria Kirschenbaum, Dorothy Kirschner, Shirley Kurlitz, Michael Levine, William Ritschafer, Elsie Shore, and Benjamin Toby. For Sunday, Ben Dolan, Miklos Eisner, Victor Kaufman, and Maurice Mark, Samuel Jugend. <clears throat> For Monday, Isaac Clayton, Harley Feldman, Naomi Gessenis, Goldie Jacobson, Lillian Newstate, Jules Poli, Max Raffalo, Lee Roth, and Howard Schuitz. For Tuesday, Charles Itkoff, Harry Kahn, Leonard Kirshner, Sky Colony, Richard Schwartz, Pearl Schwartz, and Yetta Siegel. For Wednesday, Milton Lowenstein, Ernest Shane Gold, Morris Schultzinger, Edna Sloam, and Mae Wise. For Thursday, Morris Aberman, Orlena Coronet, Ethel Elman, Evelyn Kessel, David Mayer, Ruby Rapp, Doris Reigns, Frank Rinsky, Rose Sheen, Jenny Weinberg, Jacob Weiner. For Friday, Samuel Arnold, Rabbi Judah Fish, Max Isaacs, Tome Kurtzman, Ruth Miller, Ben Schreiber, Ruben Sobel, Joseph Stillpass, and Solomon Zwick. If there are other names to share, please do so at this time. Mourner's Cottage is found on page 207. Yit gadal, viet gadash, shemei rabah, v'yalmat ivrach hirote v'yamlich malchute, v'chayechon v'mechon v'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agalau v'zman kari v'imru, amen. Yahe shmei rabah mivarach l'yalam ame almaya, Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit roman v'yit nasei, v'yit adar v'yit hale v'yit halal shemei d'kudisha b'richu. Laila min kol birchata v'shirata, tush birchata v'nechemata, tamiran mi'alma v'imru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya v'chaim, aleinu v'oko Yisrael v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'imru, mav, huya se shalom. Alinu v'oko Yisrael v'imru, amen. For all those who we remember, zichronam livracha, may their memories be for a blessing, and may all who mourn find comfort. We turn it over to our president now. Thank you, Natalie, for leading us in a few brief but uplifting announcements. Thank you, Rabbi. When I um, wished Gabriel Mazel Tov this morning, he told me he had been waiting for this day for the last six years, which is half his life, basically. <laughs> and Gabriel, I just, we all want you to know here at Adith Israel that the waiting is over. And like I told you earlier, you can come back and learn any part of the service and do it whenever you want. And we're ready to teach you. Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to Adith Israel. Adith Israel is a Kahila Kadosha, a conservative Jewish community that supports congregants during significant life events and in their journeys to become more involved, knowledgeable, and spiritually fulfilled Jews. Mazel Tov on the birth of Levi Reese Kreiner to his parents, Jonathan and Jamie Kreiner. His grandparents are Michael Kreiner and Eileen Greenberg Kreiner, and Levi's big brother is Asher. 
Um, come experience Purim at Adith Israel Monday evening. We start with a magic show at 5 p.m., then join us in the sanctuary for the Megillah reading at 5.30. Then stay for dinner and celebration. Our synagogue band, Shir Ami, is back, plus DJ Mark Braffman, and we will have circus performers. You don't want to miss it. Um, another thing you don't want to miss, the Advocacy Committee is hosting a screening of the documentary film, The Janes, on Sunday, March 12th at 7 p.m. in the Lerner Fisher Hall. This screening is part of Adith Israel's advocacy in pursuit of reproductive justice and abortion access. Check your emails for registration links. There will be a brief discussion afterwards um, and movie snacks. On Friday, March 10th, join Rabbi Burke for our next TGIF. Start at 5.30 with nosh and refreshments, followed by an in-person Kabbalat Shabbat service at 6. And this is also available on Zoom. Adult studies opportunities are coming up on Sunday morning, March 12th, with Beit Midrash, where you can study Talmud in other, with other congregants and with the rabbis. And then on uh, Saturday, on Shabbat, March 18th, at 10.30 a.m. is our next Voices of Torah. The congregation is invited to the Kiddush Luncheon in the Lerner Fisher Hall, sponsored by Michelle and Chase Cohn in honor of their son Gabriel becoming a bar mitzvah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Adon Alam is found on page 211. We rise for Kiddush. Shabbos, 
Shabbat, let your tongue to them. Bain of Amen Israel, O Hililam, O Hililam, O Hililam, this Good Shabbos. Gabriel, who wants to I'm holding a team. 